The Indians and Twins both had the weekend off due to bad weather. Now starting a two-game set in Puerto Rico. The legendary Roberto Clemente statue out front. Francisco Lindor, a native of Puerto Rico. And Carlos Beltran throwing out the first pitch, wearing his World Series championship ring from last season. Pick up the action in the fifth inning. Scoreless game. Francisco Lindor's mom ready for something special. Lindor trying to provide it with a man on facing Jake Odorizzi. Breaking ball in the air to right field. Grossman by the warning track at the wall. Gone. They're going bonkers in Puerto Rico. But a home run he'll never forget. They're calling for a curtain call. Payoff pitch coming to Ramirez. Here it comes. Swung on, and there's a high fly ball. Deep, deep, deep into the night. And that ball is gone into the bleachers. Home run, Jose Ramirez. Michael Bradley, deep to right center field. Back to back home runs. Indians lead it 4 0. Kluber, in allowing just three hits, has walked two, and he has struck out four. Now the one two. Called strike three on the outside corner. Now the 1-1 one, one from Kluber. Swung on ground ball to the second baseman. Kipnis, who's up with it, throws on to first in time for the out. And another clean inning for Corey Kluber. 2-2 two, two in the air to right field. Hooking. And that's a fair ball. Home run for Alonso. That was not an easy call by Eric Cooper because the foul poles here are not as high as you would normally see in a big major league stadium. And it is confirmed a home run for Alonzo. The Indians win for the sixth time in seven games, beating the Twins 6-1. Corey Kluber, another strong start, allowing just a run in six and two-thirds frames, striking out six. He hasn't given up more than two runs in any of his four starts this season. Michael Brantley and Jose Ramirez each with three hits. Brian Dozier extends his hitting streak to 19 games going back to last season in the loss.